Hey everybody, Mags here. We are going to review some of the hints and tips that we've been given this year on the Dynasty Hot Seat. If you are new here, do me a favor, can you like, comment, share on this video for me, please, like you can see here. And then also, if you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button too? It really helps out, right? On to the hints and tips. Oh, no, uh, tip number one for me, and I find this to be extremely important when it comes to building a team, is always have draft picks because I've been in a lot of leagues before with a lot of guys who, you know, their only concern is to build the best team as possible in the here and now. And while that's all fine and good, you may get a couple of playoff appearances. If you sh shred your draft pick total, you're going to have nothing left to build your team with. If you don't have at least a couple first round picks, a couple second round picks, you know, for maybe this year, 2023, 2024, it's going to be awfully hard to supplement your roster and basically maintain a continuous cycle. If you can do like a continuous retool where you slowly shed your aging players but keep bringing in young, fresh talent, you can maintain a, a healthy competitive roster throughout the entirety of the dynasty league that you're in. But if you don't have those draft picks, your team's going to get old and it's going to wither and your rebuild is going to take way longer than you may want it to. It could take four to five years as opposed to a quick one or two year turnaround. That's one of the main tips that I always like to give to people who are starting up or even season vets. Always have your draft picks. Yeah, I really like that. You know, draft picks are, are so, so important. And, you know, there's something that the value can just kind of skyrocket immediately. Like, even look at a guy like this time last year, you know, people drafting somebody like Jamar Chase with a, like, just for one first round pick. And now, you know, Jamar Chase is worth, what, three first round picks plus yeah. maybe even, you know, like that one first round pick is can multiply if you do it properly into being worth, you know, times three, times four of that value. So, so having that there and, you know, I always like to say to people, you need to remember that these picks will eventually become players. So, you know, think about what the value of that player is going to be and what you can turn that pick into uh, down the road. So really like that, you know, keeping those picks, keeping them in your team and, yeah, being wary of those older players. That's what Dynasty Fantasy Football is definitely all about. So love that as, as a first tip. What, what else do you got for us? Um, also, if you're this was more like for people who are starting up uh, for Dynasty, but find at least two to three players that you can form a solid core of your team around, like early in the draft. So yeah. like, it, obviously it depends on like what pick you would get in a, in, in a startup. But if you could find, like you were talking about earlier, your Jamar Chase or your Justin Jefferson or your Najee Harris, find that one player at least that you know you could build your team around. Because if you, you know, mess up your draft and you don't come away with like a core piece, it's, you know, something happens. Like you end up with Derrick Henry in your first round. You know, that's not like a core piece to build your team around because Derrick Henry is no. 28, 29 years old. And, you know, he's closer to the end than he is to, to finding his prime. Yeah. So. Being able to find that long-term piece is key. Like I just did um, a startup draft, you know, a few weeks ago. My first round pick, you know, was Justin Jefferson. You know, I feel confident in saying that Justin Jefferson will be on my team for a very long time. You know, yeah. you can't say that for other guys. It's, just, it's all about starting up, finding the key pieces to build your team around and going from there. And it's obviously different if you're operating in a super flex league or if you're operating in a league with maybe tight end premium or tight end might have a little more value. So it yeah. obviously depends but for your typical league your typical dynasty league you know find a find a core piece running back a wide receiver and run with it yeah i really like that you know get those get those cornerstones of your team set in and you know the last thing you really want to be able to do is you know going into like week one be like who am i going to play here like you should you should know like you're not going to worry about who's going to be your wide receiver one it's going to be justin jefferson the entire season you know unless he gets injured so yeah having those cornerstone pieces and you know, Justin Jefferson will still be playing, you know, 10 years time, you know, he's young enough that you don't have to worry about him if, you know, your league goes on that long, you can just keep him there, you never have to worry about it. So yeah, grabbing those young cornerstone pieces just helps you, helps you so much. Um, so yeah, I love that as, as tip number two. And uh, Chuck, you got, a, you got a third tip for us as well? Uh, yeah, this one's for, uh, for some of the newbies out there. And that's just, you know, know your worth. Don't let yourself get fleeced because it's, um, Basically, you know, a lot of the, uh, the older, the more veteran uh, fantasy football manager owners will sometimes try to take advantage of some of the new kids, Ooh. you know, sending them lob. You, you, know, you know what I'm talking about, right? So like, sharks. Lop, a lot of lopsided trade offers. Be like, oh, you know, but this feels great for you because you get this and this and this. And, you know, they try to explain it and lay it out because, you know, this happened to me when I first started playing years ago. And, you know, you, you got to know that, you know, you know more about fantasy football than you give yourself credit for. And you may even know more than this moron who's trying to offer you a trade that you know is absolutely not worth it for you. 
So just know your worth, know what your players are worth. Do, do a little research if you have to, but don't let yourself get fleeced. Don't let yourself get taken advantage of. And if you, and if you're um, someone in that league and you see something like that, you know, let your league manager know, because the whole point is to have a fair competitive league. You don't want people taking advantage. You don't want collusion or anything like that. No. Yeah. You're right. You don't want the worst one I've ever seen was I was, it was last year and a guy like accepted, um, who was the player? I think it was Debo Samuel. Well, the guy sold Debo Samuel for like fifty dollars worth of fab because I think he thought oh. it was real. I think he thought no. it was real money. <laughs> He's no. like, yeah, I'll, I'll sell Debo Samuel if you give me fifty dollars. It's like that doesn't work like that, oh man. <laughs> like, but luckily, the commissioner was like, "No, that's not cool. Like, you can't be doing that." <laughs> um, so real. yeah, don't don't fall for that yeah and yeah know your value and don't be afraid to like ask other people as well be like hey man i've got this trade offer what do you think i get messages all the time like from my mates be like what do you think of this trade offer what do you think of this trade offer so you know ask people and if you know people around you think it's fair and you think it's fair that they go for it but you know ask ask for advice especially if you're if you're starting up so yeah absolutely love that as as your third tip to to dynasty players so thank you so much for watching today's video remember like this video, leave a comment if you want, and subscribe to the channel. These videos are going to be coming thick and fast, so you don't want to miss anything. So that's it for today. In the meantime, keep yourselves, keep your teams lit. We'll see you next time.